able to reach Christina? Straight to voicemail. <laughs> she should be on her way. <sighs> Jones. Hi. Are we ready to get started? Um, soon. We are just uh, waiting for the bride. Here yet? Yeah, that's her right now. Hello, honey. Where are you? The wedding's about to start. Mom. What? What's wrong? The train. I had a fight. I'll be right there. No, I'm, I'm fine. I just don't feel up to going to the wedding. I sympathize, I really do, but your father would really need you here. He, he, he's looking forward to having you here. Dad would want me to finish this with Trey. If it's about the annulment, you can do that another day. <laughs> no, look, just tell Dad and Kate I'm sorry, and we'll talk about it later, okay? I gotta go. She hung up on me. Are they okay? You did good. Very convincing. Who are you? What do you want from me? I'd be my mother. She knows something's wrong. No, honey, it's, it's not your mom. It's my son. Your son? How, how would your son have my cell phone number? Well, you gave it to him. He is your husband, after all. You're Trey's father. It seems that your daughter is having it out with her husband. Long story short, she's not coming. Is that punk giving her a hard time? Well, she didn't go into details, but I think she's kind of getting the idea of who this guy really is. Well, she's coming to her senses. That's fantastic, right? That's great news, no? Right, see? Good. Okay, good. An annulment? Wouldn't that be a great wedding present? Be the best. No, as long as I can find my wife, I'd be happy with you. She's, uh, she's on her way. She's just doing some last-minute bride things. She'll be here in 20 minutes. Let's go. Have a hug. <laughs> You're him? Joe Scully Jr.? Ta-da. Trey tell you? Yeah, you know, I love my boy, but he needs to toughen up. He should know better than to spill his guts to Sonny's daughter. You hate my father. I do indeed. Sonny deserves to be hated, and a hell of a lot worse. You obviously have a history with Kate, if she really is Trey's mother. Well, she's his mother, all right. Not that she ever gave a damn about Trey. Can you imagine Connie left her own kid for dead? I know, Kate. She would never do anything so cruel. <laughs> well, I'd, I'd tell you to ask her sometime, but, you know, that's probably... You're a liar, just like your son. So whatever you're planning, it's over. Because I'm annulling this marriage the first chance that I get. You know what the bride is going to get here when the bride is good and ready. You know mm -hmm. that. You've been married 500 times But this already, is not sorry. about me being a nervous groom. Yeah, it is. You're nervous. I, I can make... tell you're nervous. Alexis, I want to make Kate my wife because I, I want her to know she's safe, especially after I tell her that her son is alive and his name's Trey Mitchell. Are you going to make time for a honeymoon at least? I want, to, I want us to have a lot of time for a honeymoon. I want us to be really happy, but... I think she's going to have to find out about Trey eventually, and I think the shock of that may send her into a relapse. So that's why I want to get married, so she knows that her husband is by her side. I have another function to attend in an hour. We an really, hour? Yeah, we really need to get started. Okay, we're going to get... Let's see. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. oh, no. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Stop doing this. Okay. Uh, I I, I was just passing out or hors d'oeuvres. Do you guys want a scallion dumpling? Okay, you need to get Kate now. We gotta start. Oh, yeah, here. Oh, oh no, here. okay. No, Christina was... When can I have your attention, please? Let's all take our seats. The wedding is about to start. We need the bridal party.
Please be seated. Friends, family, we are here today to celebrate the marriage of Michael and Constanza, known to most of us as Sonny and Kate. <laughs> today they will formally and publicly make their promises to one another. And while this is indeed a special moment, marriage is just the beginning of the journey, not the end. Wash you like the cockroach that you are. You had a girl. I see you've also got Sonny's way with You better hope my dad's men don't find you. What were you thinking bringing me to his warehouse? Well, let's just call it poetic justice. <laughs> If you want a prayer of living, you'd start running now. I might just put in a good word for you. Really? Tell my dad you chickened out and oh, took off. Really? I chickened out. Hey, do you realize that your father had me tied up right here? He would have killed me if that cop John McBain hadn't stopped him. Big mistake. Leaving me alive to come after him. You won't live long if you keep this up. My dad will have everything. Why don't you stop talking? They'll all be at the wedding. This will all be over before Connie and Sonny say, I do. It's been my privilege to preside over many unions, and I've observed that while love doesn't necessarily conquer all, commitment does. The choice to be together, to work it through, and make it meaningful, that's what counts. Marriage requires trust. It requires patience. Constant, open, and honest communication. And above all, marriage requires faith. The faith to go forward without knowing what the future holds. And it requires the support of friends and family. <laughs> now it's my responsibility to ask if there's anyone here who knows of any reason this couple should not be joined in marriage Speak now or forever hold your peace. No one has any objections. Very well then. We will proceed with the ceremony. Wait, wait. I got something to say, Your Honor. I took the wrong hostage. And if you haven't figured it out yet, I can be a real bitch. Another hour or so, you'll be begging for me to turn you in. That I believe. You got a smart mouth. A lot of fire. I can see why Trey fell for you. Just get this over with. Just make the call. What call? To my father for the ransom. Well, who said anything about a ransom? You did. No, 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 honey. That was your idea. If you don't want my money, then what well, do you I want? I want your money and everything else that comes with it. Power, reputation, all of it. Everything that Sonny stole from me, I want it back. And I'll get it. As soon as you're dead. Will you? You got something to say? Yeah. Say it. Yeah. Oh, my, this Kate is Olivia hasn't been like well. Huh? As I was saying, um, Kate, Kate is such a lucky girl, and she's really come full circle. Mary and Sonny, the very first boy she ever loved, back when she was Connie from the neighborhood. And I wish her all the happiness in the world. You are. Can we just go? Of course. No, no, no. As there are no objections, we will continue. Wait. You and the future Mrs. C. Many joyous returns of this day. Um, you're very deserving of all the happiness. Th thank you for letting me speak. No, that's fine. Uh, Okay, I'm glad that you know you're all happy for me, but this is a wedding. It's not a free for all. So can we just can we just get a, get a go in there? 
Uh, Mr. Kurnthos, I certainly understand your eagerness to marry this beautiful woman, but given all these interruptions, I'm required to ask one last time. <laughs> Does anyone here object to this union? You're gonna kill me? The nice thing about Sonny's line of work is uh, you've got plenty of enemies. In fact, I heard that one of them gunned down his son. You know that cop you mentioned? Right here in this warehouse, on the very same day, there was a mob wedding this time last year. This will just be more of the same, only fatal. This fatal time. for you. I uh, know, honey. <laughs> They'll probably blame the Salitos or the Trillos or whatever's left of the Zakara family. They'll never even think to pin it on me. You won't get your ransom if I'm dead. A ransom? Wouldn't put a dent in what I'm owed. I want much, much more. What makes you think you'll get it by killing me? You have a husband. When you die, Trey inherits everything. There will not be any more delays, Your Honor. Correct? My bride and I are ready to say our vows. Very well. We've reached the heart of the ceremony. And as no one here present has any objection... I have an objection. What are you doing? I have to say this for both our sakes. I can't marry you, Sonny. As if she hasn't had enough drama. This doesn't bode well. This is not my fault. This is not my fault. This is not my fault. Okay. What are you doing? The judge asked if there were any objections. I have to be okay. truthful. Your Honor, I'm going to take my bride to be. We're going to talk privately. I want everyone to hear this, Sonny. Okay. What I can't you? marry you. What are you? You okay? What are you doing? You want to talk to me? There's nothing more to say. Okay, you drop a bombshell on me and you tell me there's nothing more to say? Sonny, I cannot marry you because I'm already married. And I do this. It's only going to make things worse for you. I'm sorry, Christina. I wish there was some other way, but your father didn't leave me any choice. Call, call Trey. Just let me speak to him. Yeah, no, you know, I think it's best to leave Trey out of this. The less he knows, the better. He'll hate you. He'll never know. See, that's how it is with parents and children. You you do the dirty work so your kids won't have to. You won't be able to cover this up. You will find out, and it will destroy him. Actually, this will make Trey's life. And mine. Now, I'm sorry that you have to die. The payoff is too good to resist. You understand. Finally, Sonny loses... And I win. Whatever's going on here, we'll fix it. There's nothing to fix. Your Honor, if I marry Sonny, I'm committing bigamy. Isn't that right? If you are indeed already married, yes. You're not married. I am. General Hospital. We need to get Sam's permission to exhume the body. You need to hear this, and I'm not leaving until you do. You really want me to believe that you married that son of a bitch? Yeah! You need to stop this and tell us all that she's making this up. Dad, what are you doing? 